How you doing today? Welcome to Moe's Math. We're going to do a little pipe configuration here. We have well fittings. We have a long radius 90 that's going to be cut down into a T with one weld. Let's go over the problem here. We have 8 inch pipe. And we have an elevation change of 3 and a quarter inches here. So from the center of the T to the center of the new elevation is three and a quarter inches. So what are our knowns? Well, we know that the T takes off seven inches per manufacturer. We know that the radius of the fitting we're gonna cut is gonna be 12. So we got two sides, and we're going to solve for triangle ABC, and you'll see why. So what we're going to do is we're going to put, get our calculator. We're going to keep this real simple for the average mo, no trig. We're going to clear the calculator. We're going to identify the one foot as the offset. You can see right here. We're going to put seven inches in as the run. We're going to press the angle slope to confirm that angle A is 5974. We're going to press the travel key. That's going to confirm that line AC is one foot one and seven eighths. We're going to need that in the next step. Okay. Go back to the angle slope key, 59.74. We could get angle C. We know that's complementary. They got it up to 90 degrees. And I'm going to subtract 90. And I get a negative, but I know that's a positive. So angle C is 30.3. 30 so we know angle A, 59.7. Angle C, 30.3. And we know AC is 1 foot 1 and 7 eighths. What does that do for us? Well, now we're going to break down triangle ACD. Let's, let's look in triangle ACD. A, C, D. That two is a perpendicular triangle. And we're going to identify side CD. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the radius of 90 at one foot, get very clear, because we know it's one foot from here to there when we get down, get done cutting that fitting. And what we're going to do is we're going to subtract, we're going to subtract, put one foot in there. We're going to subtract three inch, one slash quarter inch. We press equals, that's going to give me eight and three quarters. Looks like I goofed up. One foot minus three inch, one slash quarter. Okay, so that's eight and three quarters from C to D. So you're gonna see how that's gonna help us. So it's eight and three quarters from here to there. Okay, and we also know A to C. So in our next step, we're gonna put convert clear. We're gonna put eight inch, three slash quarter, we're going to press the offset key. We're going to put one foot, one inch, seven slash eight. And as a travel, we're going to press angle slope. So that shows you angle E is 39.1. 39, 39, 39 okay, so what we, we're looking for we're breaking this triangle down. 
Boom. Boom. And boom. And you'll see why. So if angle E is 39.10, then the angle of the fitting has got to be 90 degrees minus angle E plus angle C. So you'll see why in a second. So these all got to add up to 180. So we're going to go convert clear. We're going to put 90. We're going to press minus and then in parentheses, we're going to add up angle E Thirty-nine, oops, thirty-nine point one plus thirty point two six. We're going to close that out. We're going to press equals. That tells us our fitting is twenty point six five. Not too hard. The average mo could walk right through this. We're using no trig. We're letting the Pipe Trades Pro do what it does. Let's use our offset run and travel key. So now to get a fitting takeoff, convert clear, go eight inch pipe size, 20.65 angle slope, press convert, take off an arc, two and three sixteenths. So practice, do a few problems, change it. Six, radius 90 would be nine. You could change the elevation. <clears throat> these are high, high, high value problems. You could do these on a job. You'll stay employed. All right, I hope this helped you. There'll be more of this to come. Talk to you soon.